Hello, my name's Ralph Shaw, and I'm pleased to review the Duke 10 banjo ukulele for you today. I've been playing the banjo uke for about 15 years, and my go-to instrument so far has been a Gibson instrument made in the 1920s. That's this one. It's been a, 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 a great companion. It's, it's well made. It's solidly made. It has a, a great tone, thanks to the, the build of the pot. And I've got I've got good tuning pegs on there which stay in tune. The the major disadvantage with get, having an instrument from the 1920s is that if you could even find one, they're very expensive to get. So for most people, we need to look for something that's at a more reasonable price point, and and gives us that same consistency and quality of playing that, that we, we can get from older, more expensive instruments. And I think the the Duke 10 has achieved that. Let let me just show you some things about it. So uh, th that instrument that I just showed you has a, has a natural skin. This one doesn't. It, it comes with a with a, a plastic head, and the the build of the instrument, uh, where where the part is attached to the neck, is is quite quite solid and firm. It's also got these uh, these tuning pegs that are one to four planet tuners, and you can really tune quite finely, and then they stay put. So that once your strings are stretched in, once you've got the head to the tightness that you want, by the way, the instrument does come with the with the with with the, with the, the tightener for the for the uh, for the hooks around the edge. So you can get you can get the the head quite tight, and uh, like I say, once the strings have settled in, the instrument stays put. It stays in tune. So you can get it in tune, play it for a while, put it in the gig bag, bring it out again later, and it, it'll still be in tune, which is, a, which is a wonderful thing. The intonation is also uh, quite excellent, I've found, on, on this instrument. Uh, the intonation is, is really what you get uh, when the bridge is in exactly the right place. So you, when you get your instrument, you'll need to measure where to place the bridge, uh, and once you've got that in, into position, you'll you'll notice if you have good intonation, if the strings that you're putting your fingers on are s still in tune with the ones that don't have your fingers on. Let me just show you an example. That's an E minor chord. But if I take that fingering and move it up, so this the fourth string is still not being played. Right. You can hear that it's it's still a sweet sound, all those strings being played together. All the way up the neck. So as a consistent go-to instrument that you can take out anywhere, it's got it's got light, nice long scale length. Um, I, I would really recommend this. It's got little dots on here so you can see where to put your fingers. And not only that, uh, if, if you get into a, a situation where even the banjo ukulele isn't quite loud enough, you can make it even louder. Uh, it, it can happen when you have, you know, electric instruments or a whole band, a lot of people playing. And this this Duke 10 instrument comes with a, a Shatton pickup that's glued onto the back of the head right there. And then you plug in through through the quarter inch hole right at the end and then play that into an amplifier and you can you can boost the sound and uh, I'm, I'm playing it through a, a Roland amplifier right now and what, what I like about it is that yes you can add effects you can add reverb and echo whatever you want but if you don't add any of that stuff you, you still retain the, the quality of sound of of a banjo ukulele so it's like the acoustic sound but louder which is quite nice not sure if you can hear it through the little speaker on this uh, tablet that I'm recording on, but right. it's the same sound, just louder. Try claw hammer. say a very sweet sounding consistent instrument that, that you can take anywhere and and is quite affordable I think for most people so 
that's the Duke 10. I hope you enjoy it as much as I've been doing.